under water. You see water, yeah? You see water? It's bridge under water in America. Okay? And what we are telling you people that Nigerian politicians that is campaigning since I was born, all the campaign I know in Nigeria is I will build road, I will build road, I will build road. Our person just said the amount of money, the amount of money I think Umbezo can feed 300 million Nigeria for 400 years. And here, two people don't even want to learn. Now, many youths are clamoring for Atiku again. This bridge, I mean, underwater right now. I mean, it's underwater right now, right now. This road now is underwater. And this bridge has been built for over 200 years. And Nigerians, 21st century, Atiku, Tunubu, are still campaigning. I will tie road. I will build road. Come on, man. And you people don't see that this is a big problem. If you, as a youth, you can survive, what is the next generation? What are they going to hold, hold, up, hold up, up to? The only person qualified right now to even restore Nigeria a little bit is P2B. But with tribalism and nepotism, will, will you allow Ibo man to be a president? And check it. Since Ibo man has not been president, that's why Nigeria is going backward, backward. I'm underwater. Let me come out now for you guys to see. This bridge now is underwater. That ship, ship that carry cars, containers to Nigeria, is on top now, right now. Big ship, big ship are under this, on top of this place I am right now. Bridge underwater, built over 200 years ago in America. Okay. And when people be campaign that education is the key, when you educate your younger generation, then you know your future of the country is guaranteed. That is why those people, politicians, they are sending their children to the Western world to come and study. Because every children have their own gift. Those children that deprive education in Nigeria today, those are the Maghrib, maybe the people that will invent something that will progress Nigeria, the way Facebook invests. In, in, invest uh, social media. Beget invest. Okay? Okay? In, invest all these things that make their country become great. But Nigerians, they are killing those talents, making them alamajiri, making them tout on the streets, making them jobless. And Peter B is the only person that said the number one key point is to invest in education. But people take education for granted. In America, yeah, in the Western world, the more you go to school, the more you make money. The more you become, have more opportunity. But in Nigeria, education doesn't pay. I find a youth say, it's better you go and learn work than to go to, go to school. That's what the politician wants. This is underwater right now. I'm coming out from this now. It's underwater. Okay? That's why one of our brothers said, Landlord, travel and see. Whenever people in that spot are shouting, don't go this way, don't go this way. You people think that what to do, 80 years old man, what do you have to offer? What do you think have to offer you guys? You will see it here and I'm coming out now. Underwater, under bridge, underwater. Built over 200 years ago. See here now. You will see the water now. Let not be seen a mass person in the top. Okay? See here now, I'm coming out. I'm coming out. Big water, big sea. That container is on top. Did they sell so? Did they sell so? You see how? You see the water? You see water here? You see big water? You see here? They are constructed on that bridge. Not second Niger bridge every time. Second Niger bridge. Since 1999. You see how so? You see it? So we pass through under water. And yet in Nigeria, I see campaigning. Campaigning, I will tie streets, I will put street lights, and some mumu you to be sitting beside. Yes, APC. After what APC did Nigeria, I never believe that people be sitting shouting for APC, campaign APC. After raising dollar from 200 to 600 now, now the mumu never do. 